Poop. Yo ho bro and welcome to the show. We are back on the Biffatech server for a third episode. Third episode, um, there was a second episode, but um, we're scrapping it because I had a lot of commentary on that. I, and by that I mean uh, I forgot to turn on my mic, so there was absolutely no commentary whatsoever. So, a little bit of uh, some of the stuff that I've been going around. I'm not going to bore you with everything that's that I've been doing around here, but I'm going to put on the main points. Uh, from getting up and down to the levels, uh, I have several levels and uh, each one is going to be a uh, distinct purpose. This is going to be my uh, living area. Uh, this is <laughs> living and canvas, art canvas area. Uh, here I have a bunch of the stone statues that I'm going to be turning into other people. Here you can see that I have binary crafted, already crafted up. And I finally figured out where his place of residence is at. I thought he had a spawn house, but I don't think he does. But we're gonna take a trip over to his place. Uh, we do have uh, a bunch of the statues back here. I really didn't need to make them, but I thought it was kind of cool and to have these statues in the back here as though there are little canvases that I prepared for myself that, are getting, that I'm getting ready to paint on that I just carved out of the mountain here. But I thought that was a cool little way of uh, displaying some of the, the the statues before I actually uh, put some uh, put some chisel colored chisel and bits on top of them. So this is the uh, way that we're going to get uh, some of the some of the other characters that are from the FTBB server uh, FTBB series into into this little map that we have of ours. So, these are the statues, our little canvas area. I've been finding a lot of really cool different uh, liquids that I can put inside of the uh, chisel and bit tanks. I think it's fantastic the number of colors that I can make. If basically, anything that's uh, molten, I can just uh, toss into this bit tank. Uh, molten demon metal. I. I'm pretty sure that this one's going to be far down the line for me to actually access, but I definitely want to get my hands on that. Unfortunately, I can't. There's one liquid that I can't get, XP. I can't get liquid XP. Apparently, if I put it into a bucket, no matter uh, what I do, uh, if I it, it will animate as though it were going into there. I'll lose the XP from the bucket as though we're going into there, but the chisel and bit doesn't actually apply into the tank. So, one liquid that I can't use, unfortunately. But I got an array of a lot of different colors, and eventually I'll get up to some colors that similar to X, liquid XP. Um, I got these floors labeled. Let me uh, pull off this top here. Uh, I've got these uh, floors labeled. I got the uh, quick little elevators, which is apparently just a um, just an ender pearl and some wool. And the great thing about this, if you remember seeing on the FTBBBB ser uh, series, that I couldn't have stuff on top of the Ender IO transportation systems. These elevators, I can have something on top of, so I can have a little bit, so I can just hide that like that. Uh, there is a paint machine that some that I think Leosara put over in the spawn area. Unfortunately, it doesn't paint the elevators. But I have each floor labeled with a different color, so that way whenever I change floors, I know exactly which floor I'm at just by looking at the bottom of my screen. Um, because sometimes I'm just looking at a blank wall. What floor am I at? I'm at that floor. Uh, I got some some of my own. Um, blah blah blah. Smelting area. I got my own smelting area because it seemed like all the time that people were over at the spawn smelting. So I worked my way up through the 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 quest doohickey in order to get smelting finally over into my area. Quite a boring task, but well worth it in order to get all the necessary materials that I need. Uh, got the Ender IO um, 
tank system. Thankfully, this guy was pretty cheap, so now anything that I can smelt inside of the smeltery, I can turn into a chisel bit liquid. Awesome! Um, I'm not sure if I had this, uh, this stuff here for my, uh, for my portal last time that I was around. But, yeah, that's my portal. There is, however, a problem with going into the nether. If you go into the nether and then come back, one of those times, going in or out, your character would get stuck and, I think, instantly die or something like that. Uh, haven't tried it since I was warned about it, so now we have a uh, warp nether, warp nether system that... Uh, we have that we can just get straight to the nether. I decided to spruce up the warp area for everybody to come in here. Yes, you can't be burned by the lava. It, it, it acts exactly like water. Except for the fact that you can't actually drown in it. Oh, no, no, you can drown in it. Pixel wide, but yeah, you can drown in it. So I spruced it up just a little bit. Uh, just a safety spot. Oh, that's why I put the... So I put the fire fire rod there. So this way over here is to the to the blaze farm. Oh, and someone has put down a uh, a muter thingy. Oh, XP XP faucet thingy. What is this? XP drain singularity tank. Oh, interesting. And are those those are skeletons? I wonder if we get any. Um, uh, weather skeletons out of this. Oh man, that's kind of cool. So, all right, that's uh, the grinder that I should use. Oh, good, there's an enchanting table. Some an enchanting table that I can quickly get myself to. Um, do 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 do. -do. Home puka. There's nothing much else that I've done exploring. The only exploring that I've done is about mm, 50 blocks in one direction. To see if I could help somebody locate their corpse. And I found this uh, energized glowstone. Apparently, if I put a bucket of this somewhere, that it just immediately turns into a block of glowstone. So I put it into this chisel bit tank for now, so that way it doesn't lose its liquid quality. Um, I have another uh, chisel bit area, uh, artistry area that I've made up for this place. I have a bunch of the. Uh, bunch of the organized dye colors here. White, black, brown, red in this corner. So I got all the colors organized out and all the little bits that I've uh, uh, that I've already chewed on top of that don't actually go to a specific dye color are tossed into here. Um, and I've been just kind of using it like a painter's palette. I've been just kind of uh, pulling out a chunk and uh, dabbing a bit onto the canvas. Not going to say who this guy is yet, but it's going to be a challenging one that for that skin. Uh, do 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 do. Actually, let's go ahead. We are going to do a project over in spawn and grab my chisel and another bag. And actually, let's grab a completely different um do the game. oh yeah this this i noticed this with my problem with my previous um my previous series on, with the wooden bridges is that the slats would go one direction but not another and wouldn't have too much support on the bottom so what i did is made some of those cross beams and did an additive pattern so the patterns that were already in place i could just add on top of that uh, really quickly, I just blah, 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 right there, and now it looks like it has a bit more support on the bottom there, especially over here. Like it's actually being held up. I'm probably gonna get some more uh, side supports on that guy, but yeah, it makes uh, some of these cross sections look a lot better from underneath. And I did that at pretty much every every intersection that is around here. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our crafted guy because he's going to be close to spawn but not right at spawn. Uh, oh yeah, I need to make a blank pattern is what I want to do. 
And to make a delight pattern, I need lapis. Oh, it's getting dark. And that's actually a signal for me to get something that Leosara left me, is these glasses. Uh, she's just like, stop making dark videos. So she gave me these uh, night vision sunglasses. Fantastically rainbow glasses. So now I have uh, permanent um, night vision as long as I don't lose the glasses. They have soul bound and mending, so I mean, they shouldn't break as long as I'm killing something. Ooh, speaking of, grab you. Awesome. And grab you. Alright, awesome. So I got myself uh, the lightning staff. Ooh, Bifo 2001 just came on. Signal his approach. <laughs> the heavens announce your arrival. <laughs> All right, so uh, I need to get a piece of paper in here, just one, and a bucket of water. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and grab a bucket of water, and this will be our. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. -do. Grab that. Awesome. Okay, now we have a uh, pattern design that we can use over at spawn. There we go. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to head on over to uh, Binary Crafted Place. Now, I was headed over to the end portal there in the blue little uh, 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 text. In the blue little text, that's why there is thunder for all the naughtiness. <laughs> Um, I was heading over there, and as you can see, it's, uh, 5,570 blocks away from spawn, and that's the closest, um, that's the closest, uh, spot that I can spawn to in order to get over to the end portal. It's probably a, a nearer one, but, uh, I haven't, uh, gone to actually looking for it. But... Um, I was on my way. I was 100 blocks away from getting to the end portal in order to get myself some end stone. Um, because I wanted to uh, see if I could get an ender lily and get some more um, ender pearls. Because hunting endermen is just boring. It's not dangerous per se, especially with uh, the, the buffs of Spice of Life. Spice of Life is fantastic now with the. Uh, with these uh, dairy food grains, all as long as you're constantly eating those, uh, oh, I don't have those uh, delightful meals. But as long as you're constantly eating those delightful meals, it's um, it gives you ten extra hearts and ten extra hearts and toughness. What? Ugh. Yep, toughness and hearts. That was uh, awesome. Strength and resistance. So that's super awesome. And with a 13, 13 damage blade, critical strike, you know, just kill just mostly anything in just one hit. Alright, so binary crafted place is right over here. Hey, die. Thank you. Zombie dead. Ah, There we go. You know, a binary crafted place is over here. I wouldn't have noticed it before had I not actually been going for the for the end portal. I, to be honest, the the walk over there, even though I was 100 blocks away and uh, and I kind of panicked because I was about to die to a baby baby zombie and I was out of food um, and and teleported back to spawn. Um, it wasn't a waste. I, I needed to take a walk in order to think about some things about my next video that I wanted to do. Uh, so let's see over here. Yeah, he's he's definitely got some some smeltery stuff going. He's definitely further along than me. But I did see this over here. Binary craft. I don't think seeing binary crafted. No. But anyways, um, perfect spot that I think. I'm just going to be a... Wait, is this... 
Is this spot claimed? Oh yeah, it's claimed. I'm not I'm not gonna be able to uh, break anything, am I? Yeah, not gonna be able to break anything. So let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Where can I put this that he will notice it? Um to the east of me. Where? Hi, Brick. I get it. I'm trying to figure out which direction is east. Thank you. This way. This way is east. Alrighty. And let's see here. Let's get rid of this pattern out of a chest. Can I break this guy? Yes, I can. Alrighty. So let us put this right on top of the stone here. And put the feet down. And then put the body down. Oh, geez. Zom baby zombie. Where are you at? I hear you. Ruthless piece of undead. Oh, it's a thingy majigger zombie. Oh, you just disappeared. Where did you disappear to? Oh, there you are. Oh, boy. They're gonna go. No, what? No. No. Face him. Face him. There he is. Come on. Come on. Oh, ho. Water. That's right. Ha. Awesome. Oh, I don't need to run back to spawn. I can just teleport back to spawn. That's right. Ah, oh, Biffa. La, 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 la. <laughs> ah, the weird things when you teleport inside of somebody else's body. So, awesome. We are going to head off to our little plot over here. And we are going to actually be working on our snowman cave. Snowman cave. And we're going to place it right inside of here. And first thing I'm going to need to do is get some of this stuff off my bar. I shouldn't need my sword right now, and I shouldn't need my pick. Um, let's see here. Half, si half block size grid. All right, we are going to do this. Um, and we are going to do this, too. And figure out exactly how tall how tall a person is Ooh, nope not that and how wide a person is all right so this is eight blocks and this is adding on four blocks so we got 12 blocks right now uh, how tall I think connected material Take out that. Nope. Nope. Not that. 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 Aha! Alright. We are at least... We are at least... Um... Why? Eight. So, eight, twelve. We are at least twelve blocks wide. Connected material. Let's see if we can get in... Oh! I have it on replace. Aha! Okay, here's 12, okay, 11, 10, ha 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 ha, alright, I think we're at a minimum of 10 blocks, okay, 10 blocks, 10 blocks, and, alright, I think that's it, I think that is the tightest we can make it, 10 blocks, and how tall are we, minus so 16 16 is 32 32 minus 3 equals 92 so we are 92 pixels tall 92 pixels tall and 10 pixels wide so that is the exact dimensions of a person and we are going to go back a ways into here okay and we are going to make a little cave here that uh, the water from this little puddle has uh, worn out over the centuries. Ooh. Yeah, that's right. No, that's right. I want, I want that. Uh, actually, put you back in. 
Awesome. Little bit of lag going on here. But oh well. Alright. We have this now, I think. I think this is the end of my border. Yeah, I can't go to the right. So I've got... I can't go to the left, so I have to go to the right. How many blocks deep do I have to go? One, two, three. I have to go at least three blocks deep. Let's see here. Three and a half. Yeah, three. One, two, three. At least three and a half blocks deep. I have to go three and a half blocks deep. So that's one... This is two, so I have to go through this gravel here. Oh, three. Hopefully I don't run into um, the cave. Oop. Oop. The cave off to the right, the, the water bit of the water decoration that I have there. I added a little bit more of some decorations into the corners here, so that way it looks like the water goes down into the deep depths there. I'm really liking how that turned out. Uh, I don't think I did... Oh yeah, that's right, I did do a bit more of... Um, the only thing different here I put is a, is a rope up to the island, but I did do a lot more of the path here. I actually added on the bridge finally. So the bridge is all up. Uh, Leosara uh, gave me the suggestion of having supports up and over and this took me a while to actually figure out how to put a support like that that would, wouldn't be too bad and I think I did a pretty good job with with this right here and I think it's I think it works awesome the the support the wires and the uh, little nuts on the bottom there I think it's that's that's really cool so I extended the path put a little rocks on the path um, as it winds around and it does its loop past pretty much everybody's base gathers in with the other path type uh, goes across the bridge here, across that hole, into the path here. Um, I think last time in the video, this was just a one wide path, and I like what somebody else has done here, except, uh, you know what, this, uh, this, this leaves there. I mean, the path doesn't need to be walked precisely on, on the lines. Oh, somebody come on. Oh, somebody did. Hello, somebody. What did come on? Shadalac. Shadalac came on. Kind of like a Cadillac in the shade. Shadalac. Shadalac in the cave. <laughs> Going to the Shadalac cave. Uh, yep, continues around here. Goes past uh, Omega's place. I'm not sure if I showed you Omega's statue last time. But, um, actually, you know what? I don't know if I showed any statue last time. But yeah, I've been making these... Yeah, I did that at the beginning of the episode. Anyways, uh, this is Omega's statue. I've uh, been doing uh, a bunch of different other colors besides just dyed concrete. Uh, here we have a red nether brick uh, for the chest to keep it different from the red shirt that's underneath his uh, tux there. And I uh, used actually some blood, blood-stained block for the shoes there and the buttons. And I also used, I think, I think I used, what is it, unstable, unstable redstone? I think I used unstable redstone for the eyes. Uh, one of the liquids there. Um, I think I did show you this. I didn't see these balloons. What are these? Huh, I'm, I'm afraid to do anything but right click on them. But huh, he has some balloons. Starlight. Uh, have a very happy birthday, Omega. Sorry for all the balloons. Sorry. This doesn't look like a sorry. This lo looks more like a sorry, not sorry. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Omega. Not sure exactly when the, when the birthday was, but happy birthday. 
Um, let's come around here. Path continues. Yeah, I had a little bit of uh, stone onto the path in here. Oh, I made uh, Leosara also a statue, and I made uh, Biffa also a statue. Here's Leosara's statue. I used Prismarine for the for the robe to get a get a better different color and uh, texture for her robe. Um, and I think I used copper uh, to give that almost gold look on there. So it's 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 copper, but it it's more glimmering gold than um, than actual gold in this. Whereas in Biffa's statue, I actually did use gold because that was the perfect color for his glasses and the uh, little uh, doohickeys on the side of his head. Um, I think I used... Oh yeah, that's right. I used uh, water for the eyes to make sure I got a good blue. And I used lava for the uh, little flowers inside of his uh, lapel. So they are um, actually lava flowers that you have inside of your uh, chest there. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Leosar put out the paint machine with the weather controller. So now it's always sunny and everything around here. Put a little bit of gardening fencing around this area. I think just a little bit. I don't think I would continue this. I mean, someone could continue this if they wanted to, but I think just a little bit of this gardening fence it works perfectly uh, in the front of this as you come into spawn from the spawn position. So I think it just a little bit goes a long way. Yeah, I like. I really like these uh, stones around here. But yeah, we're going to continue to dig inside of here. Uh, let's see here. We are one, two, three, three, and we have to go three and a half. Three and a half. All right, so I'm going to put the snowman in that spot, make sure it's not uh, diggable by a shovel, and we'll be back. All right, so I think I did a fairly decent job. Um, it's quite well hidden in there. Um, you don't see it unless you see the little specks of white right there, but you wouldn't really... No, and the water there you see that too, but you wouldn't really notice unless you're looking for it. And you can see here that I got a, got a little bit of a crumble action going here. Uh, as though a little bit of this side has come off and fallen down here. I think that's kind of uh, cool. And then the water comes back here and things start to get a little bit uh, chilly back here. I do want to use ice at some point, but I need to actually travel again over to an ice, uh, an ice biome and I'm just going to skip it for right now. But anyways, you got a little bit of uh, crumble action from the walls happening here. You got a little bit of a uh, water leak in, in that area, as you can see, and it's coming down here, the water's coming up here. And as the water's coming down here, I want it to freeze, but I'll eventually put that in. Uh, got the snowman, he's uh, doing fine. Um, the shovel seems to uh, not impact on some of the things that you might accidentally hit. Got a couple of uh, stalactites falling off of these bars here. And I could just go ahead and uh, get the all the snowballs I need. And I need a lot of snowballs for all the uh, smoothies that I'm going to have because delightful meals, fabulous delightful meals, all need a smoothie, and in order to have a smoothie, I need at least one snowball for the smoothie. Alrighty. I think I got enough for now. Uh, in case you didn't notice, the pumpkin texture for this mod is changed to a solid pumpkin rather than a uh, faced pumpkin. But okay, now we have the man, Iceman, Iceman, yeah, Snowman Cave. Of just the man cave it is the snowman cave so now I can get the snow that I need to and I can just teleport to spawn no not spawn uh, um, Puka. and I'm able to have a lot more a lot more smoothies now oh yeah that's right for some reason the double click isn't working for me 
Oh well. Alright, so now we have that all set up. We can get a lot more smoothies, a lot more food. Oh, awesome. I think next time we're going to be working a little bit more on the statues. Going to do some uh, time lapses of some of the statues that um, I've already done, and some of the, and a lot of more of the future ones. And then we're going to go around to check out people's places that we leave the statues at, kind of like we did over at uh, Binary Craft, who had just the uh, smeltery stuff up on top. I don't think I saw anything else happening around that area. Otherwise, Binary Craft, you can just show me some more. So, all right, everybody. Um, that's going to do it for this episode of the Biffitech server. Thank you everybody for watching and uh, we'll get started on a bunch of other stuff once we, once we come back. So, see you all later.